We're gonna take a little bit of the crimson, a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the black, and make up our little shadowy color down here. That kind of dark purple color really just looks black to me. And we're gonna come in, load it full. Use almost all that on your brush. Get it really thick, really nasty, like how it, when you touch it, it wants to peel away. It's like, no, don't leave me, right? Get it all nasty like that. And then we'll come in and we'll do our little tree guy back here. And then we're gonna blend him into the mist, so don't worry about that. Right, just the touch, just the, the, the corner. If we try to touch the long bristle, it's gonna be way too big. And I have mine kind of angled downward like my hand. It's not flat, it's kind of downward, so we're touching the corner, just like that, and then we can start to push up. And the more we push up, the more cool little things start happening back there. Right? We're gonna cover over some of our some of our uh, our waterfall back there. We have to lose some of it, and don't let all the bristles be the same. Right? We don't have to. We'll flip it over, come back there, and we get this far off bit of tree way in the back of our little canyon down here, our little hidden canyon. It's really cool. But don't just be fast. Don't just but just expect it to be done. You have the the way that we can do that. Us tutorialists, I guess you could call us. We've been doing it for so long that we already know what the brush, I could look at the brush and go, that's not going to work for up here, but it might work for down here. And I already know that in my head. I don't have to explain that to you. But you don't have to, you know, use the, the same thing and, and you don't have to be so fast. You can go as slow, right? You can go slower than we do and just take your time and push it once and pull it away and see that shape and go, okay, like a little eagle's nest might rest in there now. You know, you can think of that, whatever. Push it again, try another shape. If you start to lose those little bits that are kind of reaching out at the canvas, that means you need more paint. And come back in, touch it again, change it. Okay, now we need to make up some little highlight color for that guy. So let's take a little bit of our liquid white with that same kind of whitish blue. And we put the liquid white in here. It's very, very wet and nasty. Put that in there because we want it to be we want it thin enough to where it's going to stick on this thick paint, right? We're using all these thick paints. And when you look at the liquid white, when you look at the liquid white, it's very thin. Like you could pour it out of the jar, right? With our big thick oil paint tubes, unless they you squeeze, they're not going to come out because they're so thick. That's why we need this stuff. So it's very thin because this thin paint is going to stick much better to a thick paint with less pressure. Right? We always talk about making mud. I see it all the time. People are like, oh, I made mud on this one. That's because you're trying, you've already created the shape by pushing hard onto the canvas, letting the paint get stuck, and then whatever comes off, comes off, right? You've already created that. Now with our highlights, we have to touch so softly. Otherwise, it's going to smush all that paint and it's gonna mix together and then you're gonna create the mud. So with our highlight brush, we just touch ever so softly, as soft as we can get. Right? Just little things, little bristles, little doers, but very light. And whatever comes off, comes off. Right Over here, they might be a little bit brighter. But they can't be so bright that it covers the entire section of tree either. Right? We don't want that. We don't want it to cover the entire thing. Otherwise, why did we paint the shadow to begin with? That seems silly. Right? So we'll come down, tip tapping on where our, where we think our little branches might want to reach out and grab some light. That's all they're trying to do. They're trying to reach out and go, hey, I want some of that light over there. Give me some of that. Right? So on our shadowy side, much less, many less branches are high lit on the shadowy side. Okay, just like that. And with this little micro fan brush, you guys can find these in my Amazon storefront, amazon.com slash shop slash happy landscape art. And by the way, if you like this video so far, hit the like button and, uh, and share it for me. I, it's hard for me to reach the entire worldly audience and I need your help. So if you could share the video right at this moment and be like, man, this guy just taught me something really cool about trees, definitely gonna share it. And uh, send it out to your Facebook or send it to your grandma, send it to somebody. And that way I'll get one more fan just from your help, right? And that's the goal. Get a fan a day. Every time you watch and you share with someone new, that's a new fan that could eventually pick up their own paintbrushes and, and try to do it themselves, right? Let's put a little bit of that highlight color down into our fog, just so we can mix it up. It doesn't even have to look like a branch. I just want to have that little bit of light. Oh yeah, see, oh, 
Just so it's like very foggy back there. That looks cool. Let's do it again. Let's get a little bit over here, right? Just a little, and then so, so, so lightly. Because it's liquid white, it wants to disappear right away. So, so lightly. Couple, like one, two, three, it's it. It's very, as light as you can touch it. Man, that looks neat. Got our fog, got our trees. We can even do it over here, too. We can do lots of stuff. We literally can do anything. We can move mountains. We can do all sorts. Okay, blue, black, crimson. Mix it in here. Mix, mix, mix. You don't want to have those colors be separate from each other. You don't want to be swiping through with your brush and then all of a sudden you get a big a blue side of your tree and a red side of your tree. You don't want to have that out. Okay, same old nasty brush. We come in here, get it all thick, as much as you can get to stick on there, right? Big, thick, goopy, makes it look like, a, like, a, like an axe blade. It's so thick and gross on there. Okay, and then around here, maybe we'll put... We could just do that one. He's so cute. Just that one little tree over there. And we'll give him a little guy to, to hang out. But these smaller trees, right? In my mind, they're not as grown up. They don't have as many thick branches. So we give them little, little branches, right? Little things, little pushes. And then they have more space in between. They're not so full. So we let them kind of grow. Man, that looks neat. Get him down there. There we go. Nice, nice little tree. And you, I mean, you can continue on right down here and throw some shoreline in. I mean, you could literally do whatever we want to do. Now there's a bit of dirt in there that the water's going to be running up against. And in that case, we should do another tree over here. Again, big, thick goopiness. Let's go in here. Right side of the brush. Tap, tap, tap. Maybe a couple taps in one place. And you get these cool little differences. But we're just using the corner of the brush until we start getting down here. And we might rotate it. Use the back corner, use the other side. But again, leaving areas in between. I know you can see it now with that light background back there. Leaving those areas. Gotta leave it. Gotta have something for the, the birds to sit on, right? There we go, we can fix that with our highlights. But all we're doing is providing the shape for the tree. That's it. Now we're going to come back into that same pile, scoop up a little bit more liquid white, put it in there very lightly, mix it around. You don't want to have too much liquid white. It can be too wet. Don't want to have too much. We want, we want it to be blue. Now we're going to come in, we're going to mark the areas of our trunk where it's exposed. Right there, just along the side. That's about how much trunk we can see. Over here, over there. Maybe a little bit on top, a little bit in there. That's about our trunks on those trees. This guy, we didn't do too much. There we go. A couple little vertical lines is all you need to add a little bit of tree trunk in there. Maybe the smallest little bit down there. Oh yeah, yeah. And we can see, you're like, oh, okay. That's a trunk, I gotcha. Okay, we're gonna wipe off that dark paint, come back in, load it up again, but not fully load the bristles. Okay, maybe up here, just very lightly. We want it to come off in a weird shape. That's what gives it its, its branch-like look. It's gotta come off, you know, and as we're pushing, okay, say so this is the thing. As we're pushing, it's the rounded bit that's giving us the shape. It's not where the black line is, where we're touching it dead on with the brush, right? It's that bit that we're popping up like that. You guys see that? That looks like a branch. This looks like we just came at it straight. Okay, you see what I'm talking about? I hope that helps. It's all about the angles. Angles and the amount of paint on your brush. And again, not overdoing it. We don't want to do too many. All right, flip it over. Very lightly. Start to see our little tree appear. Okay, we can come up here even on the same brush. Again, you want it to be sort of messy. It's going to come up in some places. It's not going to be in other places. You won't see it in certain spots. You know, if you think about it like that. And again, leaving areas of light and dark in there. You cannot have it all be the same. It's never going to work. Having all the same branches, right? We can fog up the whole bottom of this thing too. 
right? Look at all that. All this stuff, we could call it snow. You could do whatever, but I'm gonna mess it all up. <laughs> Cause that's what Josh likes doing. Making something really pretty and then messing it all up, right? Need a little bit more over here on this guy, this poor guy. Right, now I have brand new paint. If I go touch down here, it's gonna be very bright, right? So why don't we try to pick up a little bit of that dark color, maybe fill in a couple little spots that we couldn't reach because the paint was starting to run out. And then by the time we get down here, it's not so bright that it stands out too much. You know what I mean? Don't need it to be so bright. And again, all this stuff is just fog, remember? It's just fogginess. And now we're gonna come back in, grab that bit of fog, the tree, the dark, the brown, whatever's underneath that we put in there. Maybe have it come up a little bit. Come over, come down, come across, do whatever we want to do. We get these nice foggy bits of maybe all the water vapor or the fog is just kind of floating through the trees as we get closer to us, which looks really cool. Really cool, in my opinion, guys. All right, 